In this short video recording, we're going to take a look at some of the commonly used uh, routines found inside of the coordinate file utilities uh, command located underneath the points menu. To begin, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of our settings. Currently in my drawing, I have a coordinate file called c-win, uh, which is a direct naming convention for also the name of my drawing. And what we want to do then is take a look at the coordinate file utilities. And as we take a look at the information in the coordinate file utilities dialog box, uh, it'll first tell us what is our current coordinate file. And um, this coordinate file is going to be housing my civil based points. And right now this file is being shown as a uh, Carlson CNG numeric only uh, point format. So one of the first things we might want to do is to uh, convert the um, coordinate file format. So we'll click on the Convert CRD File Format button. And this allows us to choose uh, from any one of the different uh, supported uh, formats. Um, and in this particular example, maybe we want to utilize um, alphanumeric point numbers uh, that can be used uh, directly in conjunction with Carlson Serve CE and, uh, and other Carlson products. So we'll choose the Carlson alphanumeric format. And uh, we have now then switched over the file format so that it can now accept alphanumeric point numbers. Another thing we might want to do then is to um, take a look at the points in this coordinate file. So if I use the list points routine and choose all, I can see some information that I only have one point listed in my, my project. And uh, this one actually has a description called CTRL. Uh, so what I want to do then is we'll exit from our report and um, take a look and actually see if this file or this point exists in my drawing. So I'll exit out of um, the uh, Cordify Utilities for just a moment and choose the View Zoom Points command and we'll go and look for point number one and uh, we'll try to zoom into a zoom resolution of about 200 feet and uh, as we can see right now there are uh, point number one does not show up. So we want to actually place that point uh, into our drawing and we'll do that through coordinate file utilities. So uh, one of the most commonly used commands inside of coordinate file utilities is the update drawing from CRD file. So the point exists in our coordinate file and uh, we're going to say yes we want to draw points uh, from the coordinate file that are not in the drawing and I'm choosing a given symbol of just a dot and I can choose uh, the layer that it's going to go to and um, I will go ahead and just accept the defaults that I have in my dialog box and we'll choose OK and we'll draw that point in and now when we've uh, exited from the dialog box uh, point number one now exists in our drawing. As we begin the design work for this particular project, uh, maybe we want to make a copy of the points uh, that uh, were provided to us from our surveyor. Um, and rather than working on the surveyor point file directly, we want to make a, a clone of it, if you will. So we'll go back into our coordinate file utilities routine and take a look at another option, this being the copy slash merge CRD file format. So we're going to go ahead and run this now. And we want to import points into our current coordinate file. The source of those points will be all the points that we have listed in the survey project. And we can choose ranges of points and uh, we'll skip the merge dialog box if there aren't any, any conflicts and we'll just choose OK. So it turns out that we actually do have a conflict now. So in our um, initial um, coordinate file we've got a point number one and in our target we also have a point number one so um, we are going to skip this one and then just choose OK. And now if we take a look and list some points we'll choose all of our points we can see that we've got uh, state plane coordinate and what appears to be uh, latitude and longitude information for some other shots that came in. So maybe what we want to do now is provide a coordinate transformation on all these points and try and get them to their state plane uh, locations. So we'll go ahead and run another routine now and this will be the coordinate transformation routine. And we're going to go from lat long to grid. We're going to go by point numbers and we'll overwrite the existing coordinates. 
we're going to go from uh, WGS 84, and this is in degrees, minutes, and seconds, uh, into the state plane Iowa North in U.S. feet. And um, rather than doing all points, uh, we'll say go from point number 2 to 2731, as shown in the dialog box. And I'll choose all my descriptions and say OK. And now when we list our points, we can see that they have all been assigned uh, now their new state plane coordinate locations. So we'll go ahead now and draw all these points into the drawing by updating the drawing from the CRD file. We'll choose the same options as before and just choose OK. The coordinate by utilities then will, uh, routine will then go in and place all the points uh, that were collected from the survey configuration uh, into my civil drawing. And I'll have these points available to me for any other uh, design work that I might want to do. Once all the points have been placed into the drawing, we'll just choose OK. And uh, we can look and do now a point number report. And we can see we've got uh, this range of points that have been used along with any unused points. And uh, we also then have the ability to um, provide other information if we want to scale the points to a given scale factor um, or if we want to change uh, the descriptions of points or change their elevations, we can do that. Uh, the other thing that we'll take a look at here is the point history. And as we take a look then, we can see uh, different commands that have been run on these points over the course of time. And uh, this allows us to then track uh, changes that have been made to the points and also allows us to um, undo through the uh, selected actions. So as an example, we performed a coordinate transformation, but if that's something we didn't really want to keep, uh, we could undo through the selected and return all those coordinates back to their um, latitude, longitude values. And then we could also even undo the undo. So if we wanted to return back to state plane coordinates, um, we, can, we can do that as well. So through the use of coordinate by utilities, Carlson provides a number of routines that allows uh, the easy manipulation and management of the points uh, that have been provided to you and allows those points to be effectively placed into the drawing and also back into the coordinate file in the event that you wanted to update the coordinate file from the drawing. That concludes this presentation of the coordinate file utilities. Thank you for your time.